guys, MD Graphics here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an audio waveform in After Effects. It's relatively simple and it can be used for all sorts of different things other than just making an audio waveform. You can actually use it to make effects or backgrounds and a lot of other cool things. So let me show you how to do this real quick. First thing you want to do is create a new composition. And we'll just go with the defaults here. Uh, my audio track is eight bars that I created, so we'll just make it about four seconds. And zero frames. So the next thing we need is an audio track, and here's just a beat that I made. It's like an it's an eight-bar track, so it's relatively quick. And what you want to do is open up your comp, which is open down here, and take your audio track and drop it on the source. So you have your audio track, and we play that. This is just a quick little beat that I made for this tutorial. What you want to do next is go up to layer. Oh, you want to be on your composition here. So you need to create a solid. So you want to go to new. You want to go to layer, new, solid. You can make it any color you want. I'm going to leave it black. So it works for me. So now you have your black solid here. Make sure your black solid is selected. And then you want to go up to effect, generate, audio waveform. When you do that, you see you get a line right here. If you scrub your timeline, you can see nothing happens here. If you play it, nothing happens. What you want to do is we want to assign this audio waveform line to our audio track. So since we have our audio track in our composition, what we have to do is select your solid layer with the waveform on it, and then go up to audio layer, and this audio layer here is going to tell which layer has your audio on it to make the waveform from. What you do is drop it down and you select your waveform. And you can see that it already changed. You can see you got some you know, dynamics here in your waveform. So let's just go ahead and render this real quick. And you can see it moving. So that was relatively simple. So all you really had to do was just put the waveform on there and assign it to your audio track. So once you do that, you have all these different settings here. So you got your display samples. So if you want to you know, raise or lower that to get a different effect. Maximum height. Let's raise it up just so we can see it a little bit better and we'll render that real quick So you know, it's pretty basic. It's nothing super fantastic, but you can do all sorts of different things to it You want to change the audio duration and you can make it a little wider a little further You know, it's, it's just something pretty basic, you know, you can offset stuff you got your thickness, so you're going to want to raise this up if you want to get a nice solid line like that there. Make it look like kind of like an EKG. So that's pretty cool. You know, of course, you can change your colors to whatever color you like. I'm going to change a blue for the inside color and a pink for the outside color. Any color you want. Let's go ahead and make this green. I'm change the outside pink to, there you go, like a, a red. Let me make this a little softer here. Make the thickness a little bit more. I'll we'll raise it up a bit so we can see a little better. Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool, guys. Now, isn't it? Now, you can also change your waveform options here. You got, you can change it to left, right, mono. You know, you can change it from analog lines to digital, which gives you this nice digital look. You can also change it to analog dots. We'll give you this. You get all sorts of neat effects like that. So let me put that back to digital. Uh, my bad. Let me put that back to analog lines. And now you see how simple that is to do. That's pretty much all there is to it. So let me show you how else you could use this to make some just crazy effects that you know that you might be able to use for a background or an intro or whatever it is you want to make. So once you have this. You can go ahead and apply other effects to it and you can get all sorts of different crazy effects that you might not even be planning on using but you just might come up with something that's really unique you might end up using so let's go to effect and let's go to generate and we're going to generate let's go ahead and put on light burst and you can see how it applied the light burst to our waveform here so let me just drop the quality down a quarter so we can render it we'll just go ahead and render this out Now that came out looking pretty cool, I have to say, you know, I mean, I'm sure your mind's already racing saying, oh, well, I could use this for that, and it's going to end up really cool. So, 
you still have all your parameters that you could adjust on your light burst as well. So, you know, if you want to make it really blown out like that, you could do that. And I like the way it was. So let me go back out. You can make the fade, straight, center. I think the straight looked pretty good. Alpha Halo, so if you want to go for a crazy kind of like ghost-like effect on it. You can start seeing all the things that you could start doing to this to make it really unique. You change the ray length and you get some crazy effects like this. You know, obviously if you want to set the color or whatnot, but let's render that out. So you see, by using your audio waveform and applying effects to it, you can make some really neat effects. You know, of course you have all your parameters here, so if you wanted to just make this a little bit bigger just to get some kind of weird, you know, background like this, something fluid. You know, I'm sure you can see already all sorts of crazy things you could already do with that. Now the thing also is, you're saying, oh, well, you know, you have your waveform, but I'm just trying to make like a quick intro and I don't really need music to it, but I want that kind of effect. I want to make a kind of a random effect. Well, look, all you do is just shut your audio off down here in your composition, render it again, and it'll play. And you don't have any audio on it. Also, when you render your final product, you don't have to render it with audio. So let me just show you a few other things we could do. You could add some more effects on there. You know, you could put some bubbles, add some bubbles there if you want. Let me bump up the amount of bubbles real quick. Bubble speed and let's get a bigger bubble size so we can see what we're going for. Let's render this out. I think you see you can create all sorts of crazy effects which is using an audio track. And we change that to metal and see what we have here. So you might actually just stumble upon something that you weren't planning on doing and then ultimately saying, wow, that, that looks really awesome. You know, the stuff you can do is endless. You know, if you want to, you know, we can go through a few more things here. If you want to put on, go to simulation and put on a pixel poly, you can do something like that. And you can actually have it break your music, your light warp, and then just burst into pieces there. So I'm sure you can see all the sorts of crazy effects you can do with that. You know, let's change this to a polygon. And let's bump our gravity down a little bit for this so we're not really breaking down but we'll break more out so you'll still get kind of a crazy effect like that let's put a little bit of a spin on it see if we can get some kind of spinning action in there if we want to get a slow break see now that looks pretty that's pretty unique right there let's just play that and see what happens And that's just a crazy effect that you can make just by using audio waveform in the soundtrack. You know, obviously you go into the middle of the frame here, and you can start changing things around, you randomness. So we're going to go from here. And of course, you know, you can change your start time a little bit down here. So we're only four seconds in. So if you want to start it right when we get it to two, there we go start to break. So let's render that real quick and see the kind of crazy effect. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty neat right there. The, the possibilities are just endless. You guys can do all sorts of crazy things that you can think of. Grid spacing up there. So you're essentially breaking an audio form. When we get here, let's just render it. Ultimately, if you want to use those patterns, you know, let's just go back and take the start time back down to zero. We'll start right there, a little bit below zero, doesn't matter. And we'll play it and you'll just get flashing squares that are just like randomly moving. You know, if you wanted to create like a some kind of party, let's just duplicate this black solid real quick. And let's remove the pixel poly from it. 
and let's just kind of stack these things up and you can see what kind of crazy stuff you can make. I mean, those are the kind of crazy things you can do. Let's take this light burst here and set this color to something else. Let's go pink because it's completely different. There we go. That's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, you know, this is just a basic audio waveform, but with your imagination and the tools available to you, you can do whatever you can think of, or you might even come across things that you weren't planning, but you just be like, wow, that, that looks pretty cool, and you might just want to stick with that. So, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of crazy things you could do, and you, know, you can add on all sorts of different things. Just the possibilities are limitless. I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions about this, make sure to contact me. If you need a beat to practice this on, let me know. Send me a message, and I'll give you this beat or a beat that I have. But pretty much anything will work. You can drag something out of your iTunes library, and that'll work. But I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, send me a message or leave it in the comments section. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you later.